Hello and welcome. My name is Kim and I'm on the WW Green Plan and I have followed Weight Watchers as part of my journey to lose 100 pounds and keep it off. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my weekly grocery haul and share my meal plan for the week. If you like this kind of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on those notifications. So what am I making this week? I'm gonna be making a taco pasta. I am going to be raiding my freezer and serving up some creamy chicken and wild rice soup. I'm going to be making just a super simple tilapia and then who knows what else. I always throw in a breakfast for dinner option if I feel like I just don't know what to make. So now let's get into the grocery haul. We shopped at Kroger and Sam's Club this week. And first up is this, how many pounds is this? Four pound package of lean ground beef. This is 90-10. Mark picked this up for me. So this is points on all plans. And I will probably freeze about half of it. One pound will be for our taco pasta. And this also gives us the option just to cook up some quick burgers. I am gonna warn you, you might hear some grumbling and that is my older dog, Denali, who gets a little territorial anytime we bring food and he thinks that Yeti, our younger dog, is going to get it. So I picked up some shredded iceberg lettuce. I don't know, I just love iceberg lettuce sometimes. And then also some spring mix. This is just to have on hand. Bell pepper for our taco pasta. A tomato, I don't know why. And then I plan to make a slow cooker breakfast bake, which I guess it's not a bake if it's in the slow cooker, but whatever, but green onions for that. On the breakfast tray, just some fake eggs, Kroger brand egg substitute, zero points on all plans. This is for my breakfast casserole. This is diced ham, two points per serving. Okay, let's see if I can reach. I got a special treat. If I could live my best life and not have to worry about my weight, I would eat this YoPlay Wee Yogurt all the time. And this is the pumpkin caramel, 180 calories and nine flipping points. So I'm a little hurt by that little salty, but I'm gonna live my best life and eat it when I feel like it. Log cabin sugar-free syrup. This is one point on all plans. I guess this could be on a breakfast sandwich, but Kroger had a coupon for the Oscar Mayer deli meat. So I picked up some of that non-fat plain Greek yogurt. This is, I believe, two points on the WW Green Plan, zero points on other plans. I also have the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage patties. I live for private selection center cut bacon, but honestly, these are two points per patty on the plans and it's just worth the extra point to like not have to cook sometimes because you really just like microwave it and go. We're just gonna go there. It's right there, these flavor ice pops. Sometimes the kids like something sweet at night. And even though these are just a ton of sugar, I honestly don't mind giving them to them because four pops, four pops is one serving 90 calories. And so they usually just eat one and it's something quick and nothing to worry about at night. I did pick up another box of the Kodiak pancake mix, five points on all plans. And this is just really great. And there's a ton of really great recipes on Pound Dropper. You can make cookies, muffins, all kinds of things that are very point friendly with this. I also picked up a box of the sugar-free brownie mix and you can just use like a Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, 
diet root beer to make this and I have just been really looking for some sweet options at night and I thought this would be something good. And if I can find it, here is the other thing I bought for sweet options at night. And this is the Lily's Cookies and Cream White Chocolate Style Bar, sweetened with stevia. One serving of the bar is 120 calories. The whole bar is 320. But when you open this, you'll notice that there's like little bars. And so I can just break off the tiniest piece and feel like I have something, but not really breaking the bank. And I don't even always count points on that. I also picked up the sugar-free cheesecake pudding and the sugar-free vanilla pudding. I saw on an Instagram account where you can just mix a pack of the sugar-free pudding with sugar-free or low-fat Cool Whip and keep it in the freezer and it's like a really great dessert. But I also saw a protein shake recipe that called for pudding and so I wanted to have that as well. I totally got turned on to these Baby Go Korean style mini wontons and I just scanned it and I don't know why it came up really low. Nine pieces for three points. And you can turn these into soup, but we've had them on the side with like some stir fry and they're just super, super delicious. So glad those were on sale. I also picked up for my nighttime snacky snack, the Orville Redenbacher's mini bags. I will eat a whole bag of popcorn no matter what size it is. So I got the mini bags. You are paying a convenience, but for me, it's worth it. 100 calories per bag. I think it's three points, totally delicious. And then I also picked up some more of my light hot chocolate. When I was in the Kroger app, I couldn't remember which one I liked best. So here's the no sugar added, 50 calories. I think this is actually two points on the WW Green Plan. And then the fat free is 25 calories, one point. And what I've been doing at night, because it's right here, is I've actually been adding just a splash of this white chocolate pumpkin skinny syrup that's meant for coffee. And it turns it into sort of a pumpkin mocha without the coffee and it is so good. And by request from my children and my husband, honey buns, these are 230 calories. And we're just gonna go in and scan these because it's all about balance. I actually don't love these and it's not like, I don't, I tell myself I don't love them so I don't eat them. I just, it's not my thing. 10 points. So when you think about this, I would almost rather eat this than the yogurt that I got that's nine points. It's kind of bananas. Crushed tomatoes, I believe that's for our taco casserole. I also decided to try these slow cooker liners. Mark can thank me later for these. I They feel a little wasteful, but when you're busy, or cooking a lot in the slow cooker, I thought these would be a really great option. The most important thing we got, oh, toilet paper. We were like down to the last roll and that just does not happen in our house. And that came from Sam's Club. Also at Sam's Club, the kids' favorite breakfast, these Jimmy Dean croissant sausage egg and cheese sandwiches. These are 410 calories. Uh, I can look up the points because, you know, again, live your best life if you like these. They have, I think, like some egg white options. These are 14 points on the plan. Orange juice, we got some G2 Gatorade. These, this is, these are blah, 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 blah. Salad shells for our turkey pasta, not turkey pasta, taco pasta. Some fat-free chicken broth, I used all of mine, so I always like to have that on hand. I ran out of cheese this week, which is a cardinal sin in our house. And Kroger again had like a super awesome deal on these eight ounce. So I bought five, which was the max you could buy. And so we'll put some of that in the freezer. My kids finally went outside. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mark, Mark's like, yeah, bananas, because you know I always buy bananas. If I didn't say this, we have some Gatorade Zero. <laughs> All right, last up, I got the kids a bunch of these snack bars. They were also on sale. And these honestly, like sometimes are just a really fun treat. These Fruit Loop bars are 90 calories and four points. These Reese bars are legit, legit. These are also four points. The Captain Crunch Treats bars. I am getting so many robocalls four points. 
So yeah, four points. Oh, did I scan the tricks ones? These are 100 calories. Four points. So you could easily incorporate these into your plan and they feel kind of like a dessert. And to be honest, they're better in points than like ice cream or even some of the Halo Top. And then just one last thing, I have been wanting to try this. This is the water cleansing foam from Batiste. This has nothing to do with groceries, but uh, sometimes you want your hair to look good. So I have not tried this yet, but I'm really interested in trying it. I don't actually use a ton of dry shampoo in my hair. I guess just working from home, I don't care. And that is what we bought at the grocery store this week. Remember, if you're interested in trying any of the recipes I'm making this week, which include the taco pasta, a slow cooker breakfast, hash brown thingamabobber, or the creamy chicken and rice soup. I always link the recipes down in the description box below. My Instagram is down there and some of my favorite things. If you wanna be like me and buy Batiste, I don't know if I will actually link that. I just, I lied to you. So thank you so much for watching. If you would love to support my channel, and I hope you do, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and tell me what you are loving at the grocery store lately and what I should buy next week. And until next time, do something you love.